Hey, what's up, coin hunters? Welcome to a 20 pence. Let's go out of 20 pence. Take two. Hey, what's up, coin hunters? <laughs> Welcome to this search for the undated 20 pence shield. Right, so I hope everyone is doing good <laughs> and having successful coin hunts. Um, you can tell my videos are not edited on it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so I hope everyone is doing good and having successful coin hunts. Have you found any cool 20p's in your change from anywhere around the British Isles? Um, let me know in the comments. Um, I think a couple of videos ago we found a Gibraltar one. But since then it's kind of dried up. Um, yeah, there is amazing, amazing designs that you can get when it comes to the 20 p's from all around uh, the British Isles um, it's just you gotta be patient and find them or just keep searching and searching and eventually you will find them um, like I've been demonstrating not every time you look for a coin you're gonna find anything so don't get disheartened guys you will eventually find what you're looking for even i'll say it now even when it comes to the q gardens you may find it you may not but it's just basically the luck of the draw i always think to myself when i get 50 bags of 50 peas i'm getting old i can't even open these bags anymore um when i get bags of 50 peas i always want to myself if they've got like 10 bags in there and I ask for four, there's six left. Now, it's like a lucky dip, isn't it, really? Will the cube be in one of them four? It could be in the fifth bag and I will never see it. It's just the way it goes, guys. And I do remember working in 2009 in a major supermarket and I was working at the time on the checkouts and I do remember looking at the Kew Gardens thinking that's a cool looking coin <laughs> and there was like two three bags full of them and if I would have known then if I can time travel and go back and like I know like there's people that will say give themselves multiple like motivational speeches if they could go back to their younger days. Me, it'll be get them coins, mate. You're you're not gonna regret it in the future. Just get them coins. And you know, it's like <laughs> it's just so funny how that works out. That all these years later there's still people I see it on a daily basis putting up um, posts online asking does is anyone selling I did see a post recently about some, uh, someone asking if there's anyone selling like a silver proof one and I was like that guy must have had his bonus <laughs> from work <laughs> because there is no way I would ever ask anyone if I could buy their silver proof Q Gardens. <laughs> it's just mad that people will do that. And then they're shocked. <laughs> when people give them a price. You know? It's like, okay. So that's the price you're asking there. Eh? Mm. Or it'd be a bit cheaper than that. Or they'd be like. Thing going into. Ebay, looking at the Ebay listing prices. Now, I know Ebay isn't the best place to get prices from um, because they will go up and down, up and down. But if you do want to use Ebay, remember you've got to go to the sold price, not the listings, not the active listings. Never use the active listings. You want to go to sold price. Um, that way you'll get a more kind of an idea um, what, like especially if you're selling. Um, there is an app. What is the app? Let me open it. Uh, it's called Check Your Change, I think it is. 
um, you can subscribe to that and that gives you like a lot of really good information like my um, subscription to that actually recently finished I think yeah I need to un unlock it to get things like probably about a couple of quid a year to subscribe to them but it keeps you up to date with everything you can like obviously track your collection that is free that bit but if you want to know like the values and stuff of coins you can always um, pay a couple of pounds a year thing but that that is a very good app um, I'd say it's one of the best apps when it comes to tracking values of coins um, they don't go crazy telling you oh your your Jeremy Fisher is going to be worth 50,000 pounds <laughs> it's nothing like that it's actually realistic so if you haven't already I'd suggest to download that app um, this is what the home screen looks like Oh, I, got the, I just had to open the phone so there, there's the home screen so you got your 50p there and there we go so you can see there all the 50 pences are listed there and then when you click on one let's choose oh there we go that one the insulin so you can see there it's got as new and it's got used that one is like things so uh, that will tell you how much say a one in its packaging is worth and then i think the used would be more like what Westminster and thing would do to be honest with you because um, they will be a little bit less value wise but yeah it's a very good app to use actually if you are one of the collectors who are interested in how much coins are worth but with me I'm not too bothered really um, about the pricings of stuff you know like I recently went to a market to go buy some computer games <laughs> now the market was a bit rubbish <laughs> but I did find a couple of games a couple of Zelda games actually for the Nintendo Wii and um, I know Zelda games are a little bit more ex on the expensive side and I managed to get two of them uh, two Zelda games two different Zelda games uh, what else was there Crash Bandicoot I think it was the racing one and I did see the Simpsons but for some reason the game wasn't in the box the guy was still trying to sell it to me telling me it's okay it's okay I was like it's not in the box and then he uh, got a bit annoyed so I had to choose I think it was like Tony Hawk or something and um, yeah I think I got them for like 15 pounds and the Zelda games, I think some of them are like, I think they were like 12 when I looked each. So I saved some money for the, my collection of games. Um, but yeah, it's just, I'm not going to sell them on. I'm going to keep hold of them. But I have seen some people just trying to sell coins and stuff at crazy prices. When they're not really worth nowhere near what they're saying it's like what is it when you see the new 50 pences come out so let's pull this one out for random so are you serious insulin 50 pence it's still relatively new isn't it yeah 2021 yeah relatively new and it's, it's, it's still in stock, isn't it, in the Royal Mint. But people will buy them, buy like three or four, and then go on Facebook and say, yeah, who wants to buy this insulin? 50p, super rare, for £25. And the crazy thing is, the crazy thing, is when things are still in stock, in stock, in the Royal Mint, People will be like, does anyone selling the insulin 50p? And then the amount of people that jump on it. The amount of people that's like, I've got one. I'll sell it to you for 20 quid. And then you'll see things like, oh, that's a good price, actually. 
and then they sell it and you're like you should have went to the Royal Mint and just bought one <laughs> for half the price of what people are asking oh we got a find this looks like an island man yep there we go Castle Rustin is that Rustin? I cast the rusting clock. There we go. Sorry, it's because it's dirty and I'm looking at a screen to read it. I need to like angle it in the right way. That's actually really nice. That's actually a really nice coin. There we go. Alright, I'm going to put that on the shelf so I don't lose it and mix it in with anything. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if, how many of you guys are on the Facebook uh, groups, but I do think it's actually really funny. And if you are one of the people that... <laughs> Um, do ask if you can buy stuff on there when they're still in the mint. I do apologise if I've upset you. But just go to the Royal Mint website or Change Checker website or Coin Club um, website. Actually, talk about Coin Club. I'm still waiting for some coins from them. Um, and get it from them straight, brand new. You might actually save yourself a little bit of money as well. Right, so no undated there. So we're down to our last bag, guys. Last bag. Right, come on. So we got a Island Man in here. But is there going to be anything else? So I'm going to pick out all the shields that I can see straight away. That one there. Uh, let's see if there's and there's a dirty one there. There's another one there that can go on that side. And let's pick out the ones that we know are obviously not what we're looking for, <laughs> which I think is only two that I can see from here. So I'm going to start this side. And oh, there's a shield that was hiding from me. Oh, look how nice that one is. That's quite shiny. What year is that? 94. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to just pick out, and pick, 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 pick. And hopefully there's going to be something truly amazing in all of this stuff. And these three can go into the returns bag. The returns bag is getting really heavy. Uh, what was that? No, that's not what we want. These two shields there. Do, do, do. And then that goes there. That one goes over there. And then them shields go there. And these two go there. <laughs> right. So, let's see now what we can get in here. Obviously, we're looking for an undated. So hopefully we'll be keeping one to the side and not throwing all of them back into the returns bag. At least keep it 120p lighter than we have been. Nope. Looks like we do not have an undated in this batch. Or tell right now, no, there is no undated in them at all. So, guys, thank you very, very much for taking the time to watch this video. I do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. So, take care and happy coin hunting. Goodbye. <laughs>